1906, as the murder rate in New Orleans exploded, artist Brian Morello conceived the guns in the hands of artists to address the issue of guns and gun violence in our society by taking the conversation out of the highly polarized and politicized realm and into the realm of art, art as the language for dialogue. Eighteen years later, we have been compelled to revisit this project as gun violence is still an issue in our city and across America. What you see before you is the result of a unique collaboration between the NOPD, the City of New Orleans, and 33 local, national, and international artists. 186 guns were taken off the streets of New Orleans and transformed into works of art. Art that addresses the issue of guns in our society. Each artist has answered the challenge in their own way. Each artist has given a voice to some aspect of the issue, commented via their artwork. Art has the power to transcend, to transform, and to hopefully create a new dialogue about the serious issue that affects our society. I would like to now invite Chief of Police Michael Harrison to speak, and I'd also like to thank the NOPD for their historic collaboration and support of this project. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you, Mr. Ferrer, for allowing us to be a part of this project. And we also have our council person, Ms. Cantrell, with us from District B today. Gun violence is an issue that um, not only affects New Orleans, but we're being uh, affected across the country. Um, too often, people are using guns to solve their conflicts and disputes, and tragically, even now, innocent bystanders and children are, are being shot and killed with some of these guns in the crossfire. So this project is a great opportunity to take guns off the street. We're excited that every single gun that he used, um, he was used to be creative and to create art. So every time we can take a gun off of the street that could potentially be used um, for someone else to solve their conflicts and some, for some innocent bystander or child to be affected by it, we're happy to see that. So we couldn't be more proud of the work he's done here today. And I think it sends a message um, that something positive can come from guns, even though they're used uh, in a tragic way a lot of times. He did something very good here, so we're very pleased about that. Even more probably that he's offered some of the proceeds from his sales to help fund future gun back programs for the MPD. And so we're very excited about this great partnership going forward. And I think today he deserves a great hand of applause for what he's done. Today. Another part of this unique collaboration with the City of New Orleans and the Mayor's Office and also the city, city Council of New Orleans. And here to talk is Latoya Cantrell, Councilman for the District of Dayton. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon. You know, when I came through the door, and I was here, of course, for uh, the groundbreaking when we were talking about this project uh, coming to fruition. But walking through the door, walking around the gallery, and seeing the exhibits brings it home. This is serious. And we as a community and as a city, I know that we understand the impacts that gun violence has had on our community, but it's truly time for each and every citizen of the city of New Orleans to wake up and understand that one more death lost by gun violence is just another one too many. When Jonathan was speaking, he talked about uh, the art being the voices of the community. And as I walked around again the gallery and I saw this one piece or exhibit that was the map of the city of New Orleans. And the artist wrote every person who, whose lives was lost in the year of 2013 on that map. No longer making sure that they were just a number, but they were a person. And that's the one that's holding me dear right now. It's just in my heart, in my mind. Because this is not just the voice of the community. This is the voice of the people who we've lost. And it's more than just the one person who's died. We have to think about the impacts of even that one life and the lives that that one touches. It's thousands when you think about it collectively. So this is a real celebration in terms of how we're repurposing the use of guns. But it's really, in my mind, a call to action that this has to come to an immediate halt. And so I know that the uh, New Orleans Police Department and other partners in the city have worked on 
uh, several buyback initiatives that are forthcoming. One uh, happening on October the 25th in the 5th District at First Pilgrims Baptist Church. What's being offered is for anyone who comes with a handgun, it's $50 cash. Anyone with an assault rifle, $200 cash. And this has been made, uh, made available to us by uh, a gracious um, grant of $100,000 that will enable this program to happen. So we need to keep these programs and initiatives going. Thank you, Jonathan, for the proceeds that you will receive from this artwork that will go again towards buyback initiatives. But it's time for us to get it together in the city of New Orleans. We understand what's happening in the rest of, throughout the rest of the country, but what happens in our own backyards and in our homes is something that we can control. So thank you so much again, and this is a step in the right direction. So as Latoya and Chief mentioned, 10% of the proceeds from the artwork sold in this exhibition will go to buy more guns off the streets. On November the 1st, the gallery has partnered once again with the NOPD to hold a gun buyback in the 6th district to buy more guns off the streets. So when these works are sold, guns will come off the streets and if we save one life, that's one life that's, that's been saved. So I want to make note of that. <clears throat> Lastly, I'd like to ask all the artists in the show that are here to please come forward and be recognized. Brian Morello. On behalf of all of us, I would like to dedicate this exhibition to all those who have been affected by gun violence, to those that protect and serve, to those victims who are no longer with us, and to the power of art to create a new way of thinking about the issue of guns in our society. Thank you very much.